For many years, the director's profession was considered a male profession. In order to succeed in it, women had to break stereotypes and prove their creative viability on the set every day. And although it was not easy, the history of world cinema knows many influential women directors, authors of silent films, cartoons, documentary stories, and full-length feature films. Statistics show that in recent years, directing has become increasingly open to women. In 2021, two of them were nominated for an Oscar in the traditionally male nomination for Best Director. Emerald Fennell was presented the award for the film Promising Young Woman, and the Chinese-American author Chloe Zhao was nominated for the meditative film Nomadland. The coveted Oscar eventually went to Zhao. Undoubtedly, Zhao and Fennell are far from the only female directors whose contribution to cinema at different times was noted by critics, viewers and colleagues. Their fate has developed in different ways. Someone is now remembered only by film historians, and others are still massively reviewed on the big screen. Allow us to recall the brightest of them, whose directorial talent was ahead of their time and left a noticeable mark in the more than 100-year history of world cinema, in which it was so difficult to write your name being a female director. Alice Guy Blaché French woman Alice Guy Blaché is considered the first female director in the world. She attended one of the shows of the Lumiere Brothers at the dawn of cinema and was so impressed that already in 1896, she shot her first feature film, The Fairy of the Cabbages. It lasted only a minute, but at the same time, told a full-fledged story legend about how boys are found in cabbages and girls in rose bushes. At first, Guy Blaché did not plan to be a director. She came as a young girl to work as a secretary at the French film company Gaumont. Sometime later, she literally persuaded the boss to allow her to experiment with the camera and film, and she received permission only on condition that her experiments did not interfere with the main work. As a result, Alice shot hundreds of short films for Gaumont, and in 1910, together with her husband, Herbert Blaché, moved to the United States, where the couple founded their own film studio. She made her last film in 1919, after which she led a non-public lifestyle until the 50s, until Goman remembered Madame Guy Blaché's contribution to the development of the company. In 1954, the son of its founder, Louis Gaumont, gave a public lecture about her in Paris. A year later, Guy Blaché was awarded the Legion of Honor. The first female director died in 1968 in the United States. She was 94 years old. Lois Weber. It was Alice Guy Blaché who launched the career of Lois Weber, an American director of the silent film era, who in 1908 came to work for American Gamount, founded by Blaché's spouses. Lois Weber was a fascinating nature. Before joining the cinema, she managed to be a street musician and even an evangelist, and at first she played the role of assistant to her husband Phillips Smalley at American Gamount. However, Lois quickly began to play a leading creative role in their union. In 1917, she founded her own company, and even for some time, she was the highest paid director in Hollywood. Weber's career was ruined by her craving for social topics that were not in demand in young and emphasized chic Hollywood. In addition, the emerging film industry was predominantly male, and remaining in the profession for Lois Weber became more difficult every year. In 1934, she made her only sound film, White Heat, and five years later, she died of a stomach ulcer at the age of 60. Ada Lupino. British-American director Ada Lupino earned fame as Queen Noir. The very start in her directorial career was a little noir. As a producer and co-author of the script, in 1949, she literally picked up the leadership of the film Not Wanted, when the director of the film, Elma Clifton, had a heart attack right on set. Lupino's most famous film, The Hitchhiker, was released in 1953 and is considered the first noir directed by a woman. Agnes Varda French woman Agnes Varda is the star of the famous New Wave. She began as a photographer and realized the visual strength of the street and the fresh faces of unprofessional actors. She adopts it when in 1962 she makes the film Cleo from 5 to 7. The movie is about a young woman who, waiting for a serious diagnosis for two hours, rethinks her life, 
became the manifesto of the new wave and stood in line with the paintings of Goddard and Truffaut. In 1985, Varda made the film Vagabond, which won the Golden Lion at the Venice Festival. And in 2018, at the end of her 60 career, it received an honorary Oscar for her contribution to cinema. Lina Wertmüller. However, her colleague, Italian director Lina Wertmüller, became the first woman in history to be nominated for an Oscar for a specific picture. She was awarded such an honor for the satirical comedy of 1975, Pasqualino, Seven Beauties, a story about a close-knit Italian who overly defends the honor of his sisters who do not really need it. Prior to this, Wertmüller assisted Federico Fellini on the stage of his famous 8.5. And after that, she shot films in Hollywood, indignant of the audacity of film studios that constantly interfere in the affairs of directors. Today, Lina Wertmüller is 93 years old, and in 2019, she received an honorary Oscar from film academics for her contribution to cinema. Barbara Koppel. American Barbara Koppel was the woman who brought recognition to female directors through Oscar-winning recognition in documentary films. She was a little over 20 when she went to Kentucky to make a film about a protracted miners' strike. It took four years and $200,000 to produce. The director got into debt. However, the film, Harlan County, USA, in 1976, won an Oscar for the Best Documentary. And in 1991, Koppel earned her second Oscar, this time a collective one for the film American Dream, which tells about the strike at the Hormel meat processing plant in Minnesota. Sofia Coppola. Another Oscar nominee for Best Director was Sofia Coppola, a famous mocker of Hollywood values and the youngest daughter of the great Francis Ford Coppola. In 1999, Sofia made the shocking film The Virgin Suicides, starring young Kirsten Dunst, it was a movie about total parental control and its consequences. However, she was nominated for a directorial Oscar for another picture for the 2003 tragic comedy Lost in Translation. American film academics were touched by the story of a hotel longing and two lonely people who found each other in distant Tokyo. Then Sophia won the nomination Best Screenplay and the award for directing went to Peter Jackson for the film The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow managed to make a real breakthrough for which her colleagues in the workshop were preparing the ground. In 2009, it was she who became the first woman in film history to win an Oscar for Best Director. She was awarded this award for the military film The Hurt Locker, about the everyday life of the American military in Iraq. It is curious that Bigelow competed with her ex-husband, James Cameron, for the Oscar victory, who participated in the competition with the film Avatar the same year. As a result, Bigelow beat him in both the nomination for Best Director and for the Best Film of the Year. Greta Gerwig. After this victory, women directors began to appear on Oscar lists more often. In 2018, Greta Gerwig received a nomination for Best Director, who shot the almost autobiographical film Lady Bird, the story of growing up of a young girl from California, performed by Shersha Ronan. In 2019, Gerwig aimed a blow at American literature, Louisa May Alcott. The brilliant film adaptation of Little Women, of course, did not go unnoticed. She was presented for the award in the nomination Best Adapted Script. Chloe Zhao. The real triumph was the victory of the 2021 Oscars of Chloe Zhao, an American director of Chinese descent. Her film Nomadland took two main prizes at once, for the best director and for the best film of the year. The story of an unemployed 60-year-old widow who found harmony with the world in a nomadic lifestyle partially repeats the biography of Zhao herself. By the way, Frances McDormand, who played the main role in the film, also received a coveted Oscar. Obviously, the directing profession is becoming more and more gender neutral. What surprises the new film season will bring us and how the awards will be distributed still remains a mystery. However, it seems that the question of gender in directing, at last, has ceased to be decisive. What is more important, and what has to be important, is the quality of the films.